After a lull, the tropics are beginning to heat up. In fact, there are two areas that are highlighted by the National Hurricane Center and one area I'm watching closely in the Gulf. It's not highlighted yet, but I want to give you an early heads up. We could have some activity in the Gulf within the next 10 days. Let me show you what I'm watching right now because as always, my eyes are peeled all across the tropics for any kind of threat that could begin to move toward the islands or toward the United States. And in this case, we're watching very closely for two waves that are moving off the African coast. In fact, some of the beefiest or strongest waves that we've seen yet. In fact, uh, these are some potent uh, systems moving off. Now, as they move into the waters of the Atlantic, uh, they sometimes kind of stumble around a little bit. They're in a new environment, but this is a very strong wave set to move off the African coast. But the steering currents would have that so that it would likely begin to move up in this direction where it's at. We also have another wave that we're watching, which is succumbing to a lot of dry air right now in the Atlantic. There's still a, a tremendous amount of Saharan dust in this area of the Atlantic, which is beginning to erode away at one of our waves that moved off the Cape Verde Islands. So, so far so good with that one. We do not expect much development out of that, but it's almost like as we're approaching football season, that that system is kind of paving the way. It's a blocker. It's moving a play on us right now. And what it's doing is it's carving out a path, kind of moistening up the atmosphere and eroding away at that dry air. Kind of a sacrificial tropical wave, if you will. It's going to change the landscape so that uh, waves behind it could be more threatening because it's eroding away at that dry air. And that will likely lead to more activity in the coming days. So there are the two areas that we're watching. The National Hurricane Center saying this area doesn't have much of a chance. There's just way too much dry air in that. This likely will become our next name system as it gets deeper into here. We'll have to watch that closely, but due to where it's at, not expected to become a threat to the United States. Deeper out into uh, the Atlantic, as you get closer to the United States, there's a whole lot of mess here. Uh, just some unorganized moisture leading to daytime thunderstorms and very high humidity, but there's nothing organized right now but likely within the next week we'll need to watch a low pressure system moving out of the Gulf and uh, moving out of the Caribbean into the Gulf and the reason why we've been watching this very closely because this pattern in this area is supportive of development uh, there's not a lot of dry air there and the heat content the energy that is present there is off the charts so we need to watch it closely thankfully the models aren't blowing anything up but both of our reliable computer models with support from the ensembles which is important which I'll explain in just a moment uh, are showing we could have some threats so here you are there's a wave to watch. What you're looking at here is storm energy or spin in the atmosphere. You've got a couple of different waves here to watch and could have a couple of named storm systems here within the next two weeks. But uh, more importantly, this weekend going into early next week, look what happens in the Gulf. You see some energy highlighted here. Models are, are really unsure of exactly where this goes. Is it closer to Louisiana? Is it closer to Texas? I think either are possible at this point in the game. Uh, but it looks like a good bit of rain. Does not look like a strong system at this point, but we can't rule that out. Again, the Atlantic and especially the Gulf and the Caribbean are just really, really warm right now. Look at this, this is likely a tropical depression or a tropical storm. I dug into the ensembles. What you're looking at right here is one run of one model. But when you look at an average of all of the European model runs, there's 51 of them, about 30 to 40% of those models show some sort of development in the Gulf. So we will likely have a hatched area or an area to watch by the end of this week for what could form over the weekend and possibly make landfall into early next week. Again, the models aren't showing us anything uh, catastrophically crazy. And in fact, Texas could use the rain. Texas is in a tremendous drought right now, so rain would actually be a good thing. The problem I see with this is we have a, a dominant ridge of high pressure over the United States right now. And if this were to move forward, that ridge would likely slow down any development any forward movement with this to where we could get quite a bit of rain and possibly even flooding from going from a drought to flooding in Texas. Uh, certainly possible there, but we will keep our eyes peeled on that very closely moving forward. What does that look like rain-wise? Let me load up that graphic here for you because as we move forward, there's just a lot of sloppy mess going on toward the Bahamas over the next uh, three to four days. But look what happens into the weekend. Something trying to at least get going. A wave at the very least with some rain. 
but going into early next week, it looks like it tries to begin to organize at least a little bit more and could move into Mexico, into Texas. Uh, all are on the table at this point, but one thing's for sure, we are beginning to see changes in the tropics. It's waking up uh, from its slumber brought to you by the Saharan dust, which has been plentiful. It has been our friend. But when you look at a checklist, you've got uh, incredibly warm water temperatures right now. You've got strong activity moving off the coast of Africa, and you've got a lot of activity right now with warm sea surface temperatures. All of that combined with the slacking up of the Saharan dust could give us more activity. I think we're going to blow through some names in the next two weeks, and that's normal, to be honest with you. This is the most happening two to three weeks of hurricane season. The peak statistically is September 10th, so we're entering that in our three-week time frame. So here we go. We'll keep you posted. This channel here is to keep you informed. My philosophy with any severe weather uh, is to inform you, not to scare you. I want you to have all the information you need to keep you and your family safe, and right now there's nothing imminently threatening the United States. There could be some rain. There could be a low-end tropical system next week, but we're going to keep you informed, and if anything does escalate, I'll be the first to let you know. Have a good day, everybody.